holiday Baker, California, home of the world's biggest digital thermometer. They built that because this has one of the highest recorded temperatures in the country. Also home to Alien Fresh Jerky. Yeah, uh, yeah. Once you get over the smell of uh, Baker, I don't know if this is an all the time smell, but it really stinks right now. It's kind of neat. Not a lot going on, but it's kind of neat. Trees that have fallen over. Like, well, we finally made it to LA. We're at Point Furman Park right now. It's a beautiful area. I mean, you can just see the ocean for ever, it seems like. And they got this awesome lighthouse here. Man, it is beautiful. Just, you gotta see this. Look at that. Look at that. It just goes forever, it feels like. That's awesome. It looks like it created its own like roof. That would be fun to climb. Wow. So this is the friendship bell. It was given by South Korea in 1976 to uh, further friendly relations between the U.S. and uh, South Korea at the time. It's, uh, set to overlook the Pacific. And it's already graffitied. So whoever did that, not cool. Like when the sun's setting or something? Just went dry. I'll just push you. Brillo Beach now.
I'll admit, I did not dress correctly for the beach. We just came from Vegas where it's in the uh, 40s and 50s, so I'm gonna look a little funny rolling my jeans up, but I don't care, because I'm getting in the water. I feel like I'm taking a lot of risks leaving my shoes on the beach while I walk out, because they're the only pair I brought and the only pair of socks. So, hopefully nobody steals them. We unintentionally just found out that the iPhone is indeed water resistant. That was, it was a little scary. I was pretty confident that the phone was going to be water resistant and not be a problem, but you know, anytime your phone goes right into the ocean, your heart sinks for a second. So I'm just happy as well. Megan saw some watermelon stand on the side of the road selling fruit and watermelon and she told me to go get some. Seems sketchy, but I guess she wants it, we're gonna do it. Watermelon? Get some watermelon? Watermelon? Yeah. I'm just a baby. That wasn't sketchy. Not sketchy at all. It looks good though, man. Look at that. Seven bucks. Seven bucks for all that. Yeah. Alright, so we're all checked into our hotel. It's great. I love it. Everything is good. Doesn't have air conditioning, which I don't really understand, but everything is good. Except for there's one little weird thing. What do you think the point of this gigantic closet is? I got another room. We're headed to the basement. That's where the washer and dryer is for this hotel. And it's creepy and I think it's haunted. So I'm making Megan go with me. All right, here we go. It's not too bad. Oh, it's not You're fine. There's even a couch in here. Ah, uh, it's not creepy. <laughs> So we're staying at the Fort MacArthur Inn and it was actually built in 1918. The building that we're staying in it was originally barracks. I'm pretty sure it's haunted. And I am not okay with that. I know I've been talking about ghosts a lot lately. It's because I'm not okay with that. I'm scared of ghosts. So I'm really hoping it's not haunted. What? What? Well, when I came back in, literally just from going downstairs to the bay, or downstairs up back up here, I didn't turn the TV off and the TV was off. 
when I came back in here. Was I not literally just talking about ghosts not 30 seconds ago? And now that's already happened. Great. All right, I think that's going to do it for today. We're, uh, we're going to call it quits. And uh, yeah, we'll be headed out tomorrow. Got the beach in, got everything we wanted to do for the day. Yeah. Make sure you guys like and uh, hit that subscribe. And uh, see you soon. Prepárate.